We saw in the page numbers tutorial how we could place a page number into the footer of each page. You can put other things in headers and footers too. For example, you might like to display the document title in the header or the document name in the footer. To insert a header, we can go to the Insert tab and click Header. Here we can browse the different um, header styles and I think we'll choose this one. Um, we can insert it just by clicking on it. And there's the header. This header's inserted a title box and also a date box. And because we've used headers and footers as the title of the document here, it's actually picked up the title. I don't actually want a date in the header, so I'm going to select the date box and just press the delete key to get rid of it. You only have to insert the header once and it will appear on every page. As we shall see when we scroll down, there's the header and there it is too. Because we're editing the header, we've got the header and footer design tools tab open and on here we can do a variety of things like insert uh, date and time, quick parts, uh, we can alternate between uh, footer and header and we can do other things like have a different first page and different odd and even pages. Having a different first page would allow us to not specify a header and footer there on the first page and that would be useful if your first page um, contains a table of contents for instance. When we've finished editing the header we can get out of it and return to the main document by clicking on the X here uh, by pressing the escape key on the keyboard or even by double clicking on the main document like so. And here you can see the header looking nice and stylish up at the top and appearing on every page. Um, to open up the header again to edit it further all you have to do is double click in the header area like this. What we're going to do is have a different header on odd and even pages um, on the odd pages, starting at page 1, we're going to display the title of the document and on even pages, starting at page 2, we're going to display the author. To do this, first of all, we check the different odd and even pages box and this tag here has changed to display odd page header and down here, on the first even page, it says even page header. As you can see, the odd pages are already taken care of, so what we're going to do now is specify the even page header. So let's make sure the cursor is placed in the even page header, and we'll go to the header command, and I think we'll choose the same style that we chose for the first page, which is that one, and we'll select the date to get rid of that, press delete, and we'll do the same for the title, we don't want that. Um, we're just going to type in the author. So, word-videos.com I'm happy with that, so let's press the escape key to get back to the main document. As you can see, this is page one, and we've got headers and footers as the title in the header. Going down to page 2, we've got Word Videos. Page 3, Headers and Footers. Page 4, Word Videos. So that's just what we want. Let's now insert a footer into our document and display the file name there. So on the Insert tab, we'll go to Footer. And we'll just choose a nice looking footer. And how about this one? OK, let's get rid of the page number for this example. Select it and delete it. And to enter the file name, we're going to have to use quick parts. Now, we've not seen these before, but all we need to do is click on the button. Um, it's a field we need. 
It's in the document information category, and there's several categories there. And we want file name, so select that, click OK. And they you can see the file name in the footer. Let's exit the footer now by double clicking on the main document and just examine what we've got. OK, so there you can see headers and footers dot docx, that's the name of the document. Uh, going down, there's no footer here. Why is that? Well, if you remember, if we double click on the footer area to go back in, we've got different odd and even pages checked. So if I uncheck that and go back to the main document, now you can see headers and footers dot docx on all page footers. Let's have a quick look at some of the other things we can do with headers and footers. So we'll quickly go into the header area by double clicking on it. OK, header and footer, we've seen those two commands before. Page number is a quick way of inserting a page number. And we've seen that before in the page numbers tutorial. Date and time isn't available for this header style. So what we'll do is we'll just choose a different style of header. How about this one? There we go. So now the date and time button has become available. Uh, quick parts we've seen, that's how we entered the file name. If you want a picture to appear in your header, you can use the insert picture command there. Likewise with clip art, you can insert clip art. Uh, click on go to footer, that does just what you'd think it would do. Let's move on to these two input boxes here. With this one, we can control how far away from the top of the page the header appears. So if we just go up there, click on go to header again. And if we click on the up arrow, we can increase the distance um, that this word appears from the top of the document. And we can use the other arrow to decrease the distance. Same goes for um, this input box here. If we go back to the footer and start manipulating distances with uh, this box.